All right, this is an analysis screencast of Alfred Lord Tennyson's Crossing the Bar. Um, before we discuss, we're actually going to read the poem and then discuss it. Um, I wanted you to pay careful attention to the a couple of things. I want you to pay attention to the mood of the poem, which is the feeling that the poem gives you as the reader. Um, the tone of the poem, which is the author's attitude towards the subject. The images or imagery in the poem. And then the diction and syntax. So remember that diction is word order and syntax, I mean, I'm sorry, diction is word choice and syntax is word order, the way that the words are arranged. Um, so before we read, the poem was written in 1889, which was about three years before Tennyson's death. So I want you to kind of keep that in mind, um, and then we're going to read it. So sunset, an evening star, and one clear call for me, and may there be no moaning of the bar when I put out to sea. But such a tide as moving seems asleep, too full for sound and foam, when that which drew from out the boundless deep turns again home. Twilight, an evening bell, and after that the dark, and may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out are born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. This poem is very much, again, three years before his death, um, his health was failing. This poem is very much about um, Tennyson's acceptance of what's happening to him, his, his, his accepting attitude towards death. Let's talk a little bit about the, um, the structure of the poem first. So the poem has four quatrains, which are these um, four line stanzas here. So there are four of those, one, two, three, four. Um, and it follows a specific rhyme scheme. So, um, in, when you're labeling poetry, um, with rhyme scheme, the ending rhymes are all assigned a, a letter. So, um, we start at the front of the alphabet, so star, and any word that rhymes with star would be the letter A, okay? So A, um, and one clear call for me. Well, that's different than star, so that would have to be a B. Uh, bar is the next one. So that rhymes with star, so we have A, B, A, and then we have C, which is a B rhyme. So A, B, A, B. Okay, so the rhyme scheme for this poem is an alternating rhyme scheme, A, B, A, B. Here's a new set of rhymes, asleep and deep. So C, foam, D, C, D, C, D, home rhymes with foam. This one is E, F, E, F. And then the last set is G, we have place. But then we have far, which we've already given that rhyme sound in A. So this actually returns back to the rhyme scheme used at the beginning. So it goes G A, G A here. Okay, and we'll talk about um, that. So the rhyme scheme itself complements the theme of life after death. So we have this progression as it's slowly building. Um, and then here is the end, right? The end quatrain where we have that last rhyme of G. So you've got G and then it rotates back around to that A rhyme scheme that was used in the beginning. So the whole idea that life does go on after the death or the end, um, life continues on after that. So that is a good allusion to that. Um, that circles back to your beginning. So, um, that could indicate um, a new beginning, perhaps, or a new beginning in the afterlife as, as far as, as this poem is concerned. Okay, so you've got that. We talked a little bit about that. Let's talk about um, the, um, the imagery in the poem. So clearly, um, we have a lot of ocean images. Um, ocean itself... Uh, the ocean itself is, um, is commonly connected with adventure, 
Um, it's commonly connected with the unknown because there's so much about the ocean that is unexplored and the depths of the ocean, the creatures that live there, um, unknown. But it's also a, a, a good um, symbol um, or good imagery for death. It's often associated with death, the ocean. Um, so keeping that in mind, you have a lot of nautical references. You have um, a lot of... Um, you have a lot of um, ocean references. You have the bar, which obviously is like a sandbar, which what happens in a sandbar, you know, you cross the line from the shallow to the deep. So that is symbolic within itself. Um, it's a barrier here between life and death. He says, may there be no moaning of the bar or at the bar when I put out to sea. So when I get to that point, that barrier between the shallow and the deep or here, life and death. Don't cry for me. Don't When I put out to sea, don't cry for me um, when, after I die. Um, the crossing um, that he's talking about, crossing the bar, the sandbar, again, is that allegorical um, kind of idea that you cross that um, invisible line between um, life and death, that barrier. Um, it also has a Christian connotation um, or several Christian connotations. So obviously crossing over into the net into the afterlife is one. Um, but also crossing oneself, um, you know, as a Catholic gesture of faith and devotion, you cross yourself um in catholic prayer and 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 different um different aspects of the catholic faith so that also has some of those connotations then you have the idea of night and night carries the same kind of um imagery or is associated with the same kind of um imagery as the ocean so you have some multiple um connections tonight so you have sunset evening star um you have twilight and evening bell and you have dark um so all of those um those images that they're using those those images in the poem are um connected to a night and not just the darkness um but also the literal death uh, our darkness, uh, the literal night of your life, which is your day de after death. Um, sleep is also connected with death, or it can be associated with death, the eternal sleep. Um, and so, and so sleep is also um, associated with death. So you have the ocean, you have night, and you have sleep, um, which is associated with death here. Okay. So all of those different imagery, we talked about the structure of the way the poem is written, um, which is the the choice of syntax, how the words are arranged, the the the, the, the rhymes end um, and circle back to the beginning, the rhyme structure. Um, so let's talk about the author's tone um, about this this subject so I told you multiple times by now that this is three years before his death he's very this poem is all about his acceptance of death he's not afraid um, you have the peaceful images of um, the, the the waves and the quiet and it's not tumultuous ocean it's not um, a scary ocean for him um, and he also doesn't want anybody to weep and moan and cry for him. He says, don't cry for me. Uh, may there be no sadness of farewell. May there be no moaning of the bar. Don't be sad that I'm leaving, that I'm fixing to cross this bar, this, this sandbar, or this literal barrier. Um, and then here at the end, he says, For though from out are born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Now, if you notice um, things, uh, different structures, 
um, capitalized or different punctuation or different uh, if they're italicized or, or something to draw your attention out of normal because you normally wouldn't capitalize time and place and you also would not normally capitalize pilot unless it was part of a formal title. So pay attention to those things because they often can indicate something important. He hopes to see his pilot. His pilot here is God. Um, we capitalize God always when we write about the God. So here it's significant that pilot is capitalized. He's speaking about God. He's ready to meet him he's ready to um he's unafraid to die he knows what lies ahead he knows that life is going to go on it'll be a new beginning for him for his new home um, when he goes and meets his pilot face to face so here you have a very accepting attitude towards death um here with Tennyson a lot of imagery a lot to unpack um, but um, I hope that you can see that this this is a very simple poem it's a very short poem but it's packed with a lot of um, of imagery it's packed with a lot of word choice structural um, structural things like that the whole rhyme scheme circling back around to indicate a new beginning life continues to go on and on and on after we go um, those symbols are the, the strong sim uh, imagery the night um, the death uh, the oh, I'm sorry the night the ocean the sleep that are all associated here with death the sandbar which is that barrier between life and death but overall he's unafraid um, he's ready to go. It's his time, and he's very accepting of what comes next.